Hey, welcome back to Cool Classics. Today we're going to take a look at the life and career of Lonnie Anderson, the blonde bombshell. <laughs> she was born Lonnie K. Anderson, August 5th, 1945 in St. Paul, Minnesota. Now, in her autobiography, she mentions that her father wanted to name her Lalani, but realized that later on when she was a teen, it was likely to be twisted into Leilani, so he changed it to Lani. She grew up in suburban Roseville, Minnesota. As a senior at Alexander Ramsey High School in Roseville, she was voted Valentine Queen of the Valentine's Day Winter Formal of 1963. And then she went on to attend the University of Minnesota. Her acting debut came with a bit part in the film Nevada Smith, starring Steve McQueen and Suzanne Plachette. After that, she went virtually unemployed as an actress for nearly a decade before she finally began achieving guest roles on different television series in the mid-70s. She appeared in two episodes of SWAT and later appeared on a sitcom Phyllis, as well as the detective series Policewoman and Harry O. In 1978, things really started happening for her. She went in and tried out for a part on a new television show called Three's Company. She auditioned for the part of Chrissy and almost had it, but was beat out by Suzanne Summers. The producers were so impressed with her testing that they went ahead and wrote her into one of the episodes. Within weeks of all of that happening, Lonnie went in to audition for another brand new sitcom that was in development. It was going to be called WKRP in Cincinnati. The sitcom's creator, Hugh Wilson, said that when Lonnie showed up, she was armed with a portfolio of photos. So after she auditioned and tested really high, they started to look through all these photos. He said there was this one picture of her in a red swimsuit, striking a pose similar to that of Farrah Fawcett's famous 1976 poster, which was a big deal at the time. And he said, my God, her body resembles that of Jane Mansfield and she also possesses the innocent sexuality of Marilyn Monroe. Lonnie was hired to play the part of Jennifer Marlowe, and the show debuted on CBS in 1978 at 8 p.m., going straight up head-to-head -head against Welcome Back, Cotter on ABC and Little House on the Prairie on NBC. Initially, the show received poor ratings, and it was put on hiatus after only eight episodes. CBS studied all the information and noticed that it had great reviews, and the fan reaction was very positive. So they decided to give it one more shot. They were bringing it back without any cast changes, but this time it was gonna be having a new time slot, the best one on the network. They were gonna follow MASH. This seemed to do the trick. Ratings steadily increased, and they went on to have four seasons, 88 episodes in total. So as the show was rising in popularity, the stardom of Lonnie Anderson was rising on its own too. Even though the entire cast got equal billing and screen time, it was Lonnie that was getting all the outside offers for other work. In 1980, the sitcom took its normal summer break, and during this time, Lonnie requested that she receive a substantial salary increase. The producers were like, no, 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 we're not going to do that. And she says, oh, that's okay, I'll just go do other things then. And the first thing she goes and does is film the television movie The Jane Mansfield Story. Just think of that, two years before they're hiring her because she looks like Jane Mansfield. And now she's playing her in a movie and her husband in the movie was a young Arnold Schwarzenegger. And before the summer was over, she had appeared in Love Boat, Fantasy Island and a couple other things. And the producers contacted her and said, hey, it's all good, you got your salary increase. Now the show continued on for a couple more seasons, but eventually it was canceled. Lonnie didn't have a hard time finding work after this. Matter of fact, in 1983, she co-starred with Burt Reynolds in a movie called Stroker Ace. The movie also starred Jim Neighbors, who used to play Gomer Pyle. It was also the acting debut of Bubba Smith, who played Hightower in Police Academy. I made a video on him, you should check it out. In 1984, she was back with a new drama series called Partners in Crime, co-starring with Linda Carter, the original Wonder Woman, who I also made a video on. Unfortunately, it only lasted for 13 episodes, but in 1986, Lonnie was right back to work with a new sitcom called Easy Street, which went for 22 episodes. Now, during this time, and pretty much throughout the entire 1980s, Lonnie was starring in television movies, at least one or two per year. 
1988, Lonnie married Burt Reynolds, her previous co-star in Stroke Race. Now, they became an instant celebrity couple, and they were just in all the news media. <laughs> they also adopted a son. And like I said, everybody was just in love with this couple. They were everywhere. And then as the mid-90s rolled around and their marriage started to dissolve, they went into divorce and everything turned into like the tabloids, like stalking them and paparazzis. And it became a crazy deal. And, you know, it looked kind of bad and negative at times. But that's part of the bad that comes with the good of show business. Despite all the drama and everything, Lonnie never stopped working, appearing in television, films, TV movies, and she still works to this very day. Here I gotta show you the cover to this movie called Munchie that she made in 1992, just because it looks freaky. And also, she was in A Night at the Roxbury. She played the mother to those two bozos. <laughs> Remember that? In 1993, she appeared on the television show Empty Nest, playing Casey McAfee. After three episodes, it was so successful, they spun her off into her own show called Nurses, playing the same character, and it went for 22 episodes. Now, Lonnie has appeared in many more things over the years, but we're going to end it right here on a wacky one. That's right, in 2003, she appeared on the brand new sitcom called The Mullets. I did say mullets, as in like the hairstyle. Everyone on the show had a mullet haircut, I believe, except for Lonnie. <laughs> I think I saw part of one episode, maybe two little pieces here and there back in the day. I don't remember much. I'm going to go check it out after this. I think all of you should, too. There might be some value. Hey, it lasted 11 episodes. And you know what else is cool? I just made a video on someone that was awesome that's still alive and doing good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please think about subscribing. Also, check out my video on Jan Smithers. She played on WKRP in Cincinnati as Bailey Quarters. I also have a couple other cool ones you might like. The Linda Carter story. And also, Bubba Smith, who played Hightower in Police Academy.